Hello guys again and welcome back to another reviewing and testing. Today we've got this Epson L6160 and together we're gonna find out how we can manage the settings, how we can print from my PC, from the printer, printing, scanning and all the settings that it has. We are going to connect it to our Wi-Fi network and find out every details how we can use this printer. Well, let's start. Copy, we've got at the menu, copy, scan, maintains, settings, You can copy here, you can choose black and white or color, one seat. And here you can adjust with the positive and negative. Done. Let's go back. Add the scan, okay. Scan to computer, to your cloud. Computer WSD. Install the Epson Event Manager software in the computer to use this feature. See your documentation for more details. OK. Select computer. Save as PDF. Nice. Many options. Cloud. Scan the cloud is not set up. Register the printer with your Epson Connect account. OK. This means we can do that later. We can choose scan uh, color or uh, black and white. Color. Then we can choose um, to store it as a PDF or a JPEG. And of course, we can go Advanced, Scan Area, A4, Portrait, Original Type, Text, Density, Remove Shadow, Remove Punch Holes, Clear All Settings. Nice, many options. Computer WSD. WSD scan is available for Windows, Vista or later OS. Set up WSD on your computer before using this feature. Okay, dismissed. Dismiss. Next. We can go to maintains, print head nozzle check, print head cleaning, power cleaning, print head alignment, reset link levels, remaining capacity of maintains box, paper guide cleaning. If you've got any problems when you're printing, it's not so clear, printing alignment is not good, you can run this test and they may definitely help you to have a better results when you're printing. Settings, general settings. We've got basic settings, LCD brightness. Okay. It is at maximum, let's leave it at maximum. Okay. Slip timer, we can choose that when the printer it will slip power off settings power off if inactive we can turn it on or off 30 minutes one hour later four hours later let's put it in four hours power off if disconnected on language we can choose again operation uh, time out keyboard Printer settings, paper source settings, paper settings, A4 later auto switch, error notice, paper setup auto display, universal print settings, top of set, left of set, top of set in back, left of set in back, check paper uh, width, skip blank page, nice many options, auto error solver, off or on, quiet mode, Ink uh, trying time, standard, long, longer, let's leave it, bidirectional, on or off, PC connection via USB enable, network settings, Wi-Fi setup, well, let's uh, set up it to our home, network connection settings, Wi-Fi reconnect, start setup, Wi-Fi setup wi wizard, and here I can choose my network at my home. OK. And the password. Start setup. Connecting to network. Wi-Fi setup is complete. Print the connection check report for details. This means. 
and we can see why it lands at top. We've got a network status. You can register to Epson Connect. A firmware update is available. Update the firmware from the setting menu. Okay, we will do that. Dismiss. You can register to Epson Connect from an Epson Connect service menu. Remind you later. Okay. Wi-Fi direct status. Print status sheets. Connection check. Advance. Device name, TCP IP, proxy server, IPv6 address, link speed and tablex. Any options and for the network. Web services, Epson Connect services, Google Cloud Print services. Okay, nice. Many options. Print counter in total, uh, black, white, color. User settings, copy, scan to computer, scan to cloud. Restore uh, default settings, firmware update, notification on, current, let's check, update, start checking, new firmware update, well, let's do that. Do not turn the power off when the update is completely, the power will return off and on automatically. It is very important, to not mess with the printer when it's updating the firmware. And restart. Firmware update successful. And here we can see the icon uh, for the Wi-Fi connection is on. The icon for the inks inside the tank. Epson complete services. Okay. No. Well. This is the home button. Troubleshooting. How to. Back. Okay, let's refill the paper and start the printing. Now refill the paper, just open that, pull it. Here we've got some adjustments. A4 paper, 150 it is the maximum. And here you can take this out and the paper, it will come out from here, it will not drop down. And when I open the cassette, they've got this message, select the size and type of the leaded paper, A4, paint paper, and we are okay. Now this is the scan area, so well, I will print the instructions from Epson, and we can see here we've got A4 Max, LTR, B5, and the same here, we are in A4 exactly. And let's make the first copy. And it asks us is it, if it is color or uh, black and white. It is a black and white. Advanced. Paper setting. Reduce in large. 100%. Size A4. Multi. Quality standard. Well, let's put it on best. Portrait. Remove shadow. Off. Off. ID card copy. Borderless copy. Clear all settings. We are okay. Just press the copy button. And that was it. All I can see. Is matching very well at the quality. Of course, this is a different type of paper, and that is a different type of paper. But the quality, I can say, is very good. Nice. Printing complete. Okay, I have given the order to print uh, from my PC. Download the latest driver from Epson software and drivers for your PC or laptop. This is a standard quality. And of course, this is a paint paper. We need to try it on a photo paper. But yet, it is fast. Let's print another one. Six paces, very fast. Mm. 
and the last one it is a color page some instruction for a black room. nice and you can see very good quality the printing alignment everything is good and printing very clear you can see everything very clear now if you want to scan something okay and you need to go to your pc or laptop okay dismissed searching for a computer and we've got uh, scan for print uh, to my computer scan for email scan for a fax scan for a ocr okay and save destination scan to Chagiru and you and you will see a pop-up window to my pc choose scan okay it's starting to scan uh, at the printer and then i have revealed the scanning to my pc give the order from the epson uh, scanner and then you will get it at your pc or laptop or of course you can directly scan it from your uh, pc insert the scanning paper and scan it from your pc now let's say you have uh, two a4 papers and you need to scan them and print them to one a4 paper two in one let's go to copy well let's choose a uh, color go advance here we've got a single paper go to two up then choose left to right right to left top to bottom bottom to top let's choose top to bottom done you need to put the first paper to scan this means and start sit one of two now place the second of the scanner glass and start scanning take the first one out insert the second okay and now it's starting to print and as you can see you've got uh, two A4 in a one A4 that was the two a4 papers a they come to this one nice and the printing quality i can say is very good small letters of course they need to fit two papers in one but the quality it's very good and of course you can arrange from here the quality standard or best it is your choice if you need to print a two in one it will be better to leave it in best quality now let's say if you need to use the double side printing option you have this paper one side here and one side here and you need to print it in one a4 uh, paper double side well first put it on the scanner the first side we go to copy we don't need the color right now it is okay in black and white choose one to seat it portrait or landscape left edge top edge it is your choice done then go to the advance if you want the quality to be best let's choose best you don't need to go back just press the print scanning original seat one of two place page two on the scanner glass and start scanning select done to print the scanning pages we need to open that rotate from the other side the paper and okay now it will start scanning again preparing to print the back side of the document do not touch the paper it will take the paper inside again
And that was the double side option printing. Very nice, very clear, best quality. Nice. Easy setup, many options we have to print and scan from the LCD screen, that is very helpful. Adjusting the settings at your own will. Setup and connection to our Wi-Fi network, it was very easy. For all I can say, I'm very happy and is working as I want and the printing quality is great. On my next video we will see how we can print and use the Epson iPrint app from the iOS and Android. There are many options in there and definitely it will be very helpful just sitting and using your smartphone and printing your favorite photos uh, to your printer. And in the end at the fourth video you will see the printing quality from a photo paper, plain paper, different dimensions, the time that it needs to print on a normal and best quality. And with all that guys this is the end of the video, stay with me, more are coming, that's for hit the notification bell, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like or just like my video of choice and share this video, you never know who may need it. Have a nice and lovely day, bye bye.